my favorite people, I'm Lucy and you're watching the Edit With Me Monday show, the show where we make editing in Lightroom super, super simple. Today we're talking about one of my favorite new tools and that is the texture tool. Now why I love this tool is that there's so many different ways that you can use it. So I'm going to be editing a couple different photos in different ways just so you can see how I'm using this tool. And if you want to see the finished photos while you're watching this video, head on over to my Instagram at the Lucy Martin and I'll have posted those photos there. So let's get into it. So the texture tool is a relatively new tool in Lightroom. It was introduced in the summer of this year. And I kind of think that their main goal with the texture tool was to have a feature within Lightroom that could be used for quick and easy skin retouching. Just something that you could kind of slap on your photos and have a really great result. So that is the number one way that this tool is used. I'm gonna show you a couple other ways, but let's start with the main way that you're gonna be using it. So if you look on the right hand panel of your Lightroom interface, you're gonna see the texture tool under this little uh, heading called presence. Now the tool is something that can be used universally across your photo. And when I say universally, I mean you can use it on your entire photo and it will affect every element of your photo, or you can just use it on specific spots. So if we use it universally on the entire photo, I would suggest you don't do this, but I'll show you why. It's really powerful. And if you do that, what you're gonna get is some really kind of wonky results. If we actually increase the texture, you're just gonna see my skin here age by about 10 years. So generally do not increase the texture on someone's skin, unless you really don't like them and you wanna make them look worse, then you could do that. But generally, that's very unflattering. When we're working with skin and the texture tool, it's actually gonna be about de-texturizing things. Now, some people might just wanna save time and you might just wanna do it onto the whole photo like this. Again, what you're gonna get is that really kind of weird, hazy look. This could work if you're kind of going for that like 80s glamor look, but generally for just a nicely edited photo, this is just a bit over the top. But as I take the texture down, you can definitely see my skin is becoming flawless. Just like, wow, that is CoverGirl skin right there. So we want that effect, we just don't want it on the entire photo. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring that back to zero. I don't wanna do that on the entire photo. And I'm gonna go over here and click on the brush tool. This is gonna allow me to just pick and choose the areas where I want to use the texture tool. So I'm gonna click on that. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to basically highlight my entire skin. If you go ahead and press the O key on your keyboard, you're gonna get sort of this little uh, red uh, thing that will show you where you're actually highlighting. So go ahead and highlight all the skin in your photo. Now go ahead and press the O key so we don't look at our mask layer and then go over to the texture tool and we're gonna bring the texture down. Now this is totally subjective by how much you want to bring it down. Just know if you go really overboard, it becomes really evident that you just smooth someone's skin when you erase every um, kind of flaw and pore. That actually doesn't look good because it looks so fake. So just kind of go and pick something kind of around here that still is fixing the skin, enhancing it, but it still keeps a natural look to it. And the other thing is, is that you're gonna wanna go along with your brush, get any areas that you missed and just fill those in like that. So if we wanna look at this, here is uh, the before and here's the after. So actually very minimal what we did. We just worked with that one tool, but this definitely enhances the skin. So that's how easy it is to use the texture tool to do a quick skin retouch. This is by no means a really in-depth skin retouching. Uh, if you needed to do something really professional, you would wanna go over into Photoshop to do that. But when you just need something easy, when, when you don't need to do too much, this is a great solution. Now let's move on to another photo and look at how we could use the texture tool across the board universally on a photo. Now, this really works well for photos that do not have a human subject. You know how I showed you before when we put the texture way high on the skin, it looked terrible, kind of looked a bit zombie-ish. 
So you don't wanna be using this tool on the entirety of your photo if it has a person in it, but if it's something like this that is architecture or a flat lay or a product, um, anything with inanimate objects is actually a really great case study to use the texture tool. So on this photo, uh, it's just sort of like an interior shot. If I just bring the texture up on it, everything is just sort of enhanced. You can see when I bring that down and bring it up, everything just kind of has this cool enhanced, almost kind of gritty vibe to it. Again, it's totally up to you how much you would want to use but this type of photo is something that you could totally just kind of go crazy and experiment with that texture tool. Now, the last way that I'm using the texture tool is just to enhance certain elements of the photo. When I want one thing to really, really pop out um, or it has an interesting texture already, then I think this tool is amazing. So on this one, if I go pick the brush tool, I'm gonna enhance the texture. In this photo, these palm trees, they're just so cool and already there's so much texture that you can see in this photo without even adding it to them. But I think if we go and we add that in, it'll just be even more vibrant, even more cool, stand out even more. So I'm just going along with the brush on the trees to just really highlight that texture there. Now, along with the texture, you can work with clarity. You could work with uh, any of these other features. Sometimes along with texture, I'll bring up contrast as well. So we can look at that before and then after. And you can see that those parts where I highlighted on the trees here and added in that texture, it just looks so much more dynamic and it adds more depth to this photo. All right, so I hope you feel ready to start using the texture tool in your photos. If you do any editing with it or experimenting with it this week, definitely tag me in your photos so I can check them out. I love to see what you guys are up to. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys next week. Peace out.